So we're here at Arm TechCon, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Claudio Gonzalez. I'm yeah. here for At Games, and we're showing the Zuma platform today. Uh, it's basically a video game streaming service. Yeah. Uh, so a user can download our client, and they can broadcast a game that goes to our servers, and they can go to our web portal. And we're trying to integrate uh, viewer and broadcaster interaction, so you can affect the way that the game is played. So uh, you have how many games on there? Uh, well, the way it works is that a user will have, they'll provide their own software. Um, so it's so you not... you upload the ROMs? No, no, no. So right now we're just show, we're showcasing uh, Atari Game Vault uh, because it ties into our other business, which is selling retro consoles. Um, but a user can use any game that they own, say a Steam game, uh, be Metal Gear, Starcraft, World of Warcraft, whatever it be. Um, so they can go to our web portal. What, what games uh, can work? How does that work? Any game. So it, any work, game. it works as a window capture. So as a what? As window capture. So anything that, anything that you're running on your PC, you can you can stream directly to our website. So it's PC. But it's ARM-based solution, yeah, so, right? So the entire service is running on our ARM server. It's our Pismo server, which is based on ARM A15. Um, so that's the, that's the uh, AMD system, or you uh, don't have to say? No, it's not yeah. AMD. Uh, this is our, our proprietary from At Games. Uh, it's a 12 blade, 48 node device, uh, cluster compute. Uh, more information can be found on our PDF at AtGames.net for it. Um, but yeah, like I said, the entire Zuma service is running on the on, on this server here. And um, we have a we server right have, here. We also have our retro consoles. Uh, our handhelds for Sega and Atari, these are running on ARM A7s. And the one that they have up front is the Sega Genesis console, which is running on ARM A9. Oh, where? Up front uh, that they're doing for the giveaway. Ah. So, um, but how do, you, how do you say that all these games are on uh, PC? So, the client, so a user will download the client and they stream to our server. Uh, but all our servers, the entire service that's hosting the streaming and the ingestion and the management of the Zuma platform is handled by our ARM server. So it's like a Twitch where you stream whatever right. you have. Exactly. Uh, except the difference between us and Twitch is that we're offering sub-second latency uh, and we're trying to integrate interactive uh, interaction between the streamer and the broadcaster. So say, How can you do sub-second latency? How is that possible? You need to be very close to the gamers or the, the viewers? Not, or not at all. Uh, and we're trying to demo it here. It's just that they keep in mind that we're on a shared connection, uh, but it's still very close. Uh, it's still within a second. Under optimal conditions in a normal environment, this would be under 100 ms. Um, but we're trying to make it, you know, like say for example, you come into a situation in a game where you need to make a quick decision, go left or right, or you uh, encounter an obstacle and you have your viewers, you want to ask them for some sort of advice. You need to have that kind of answer immediately, otherwise the outcome of the game could change, probably not in your favor. So we're just trying to bring bring it closer and make it more interactive and more enjoyable for both the streamers and the broadcasters. So you have a streaming app for Windows? Yeah, or? yeah. so we'll provide an EXE file. Uh, it's You just set up your username, uh, the name of your stream, what game you're playing, um, and it'll broadcast to our web portal and you can choose a game list. Uh, choose the name of the, uh, the stream that you want to see. Uh, we also have available uh, our Android app, uh, which also plays in sync with the web portal. We're currently working on the iOS app as well. So and on, from Android, you can stream any game that's on the Android device? Uh, no? That's a feature that we've much. been working we, we actually had that feature, but we pulled it for the demo. We're looking to reintegrate it. Uh, right now, it's just for spectating. But we will have that later on as well, where we, you can stream directly like from your screen Android. Screen grabbing app, video screen yeah, grabbing. and you can use your front-facing camera to uh, broadcast yourself to your users, uh, the chat box interaction. So the same features that you're going to have on the web portal. All right. Uh, how many people can stream the game at the same time with one of these servers? Uh, we haven't done a full-scale test of uh, of capacity for one server. Um, but with this server, 48 nodes, uh, theoretically, we could stream thousands and thousands of, of streams. On One thousand? Thousands. Thousands? Yeah. All right. So uh, this, is a, this is a big market for the... Uh, YouTube is getting into this game, the yeah, game you, streaming you, stuff. YouTube is doing YouTube gaming. Uh, Twitch is doing it. I believe Amazon is doing it as well, but none of them are offering sub-second latency. Uh, the closest that we got, I believe, was 
I think we measured between seven and ten seconds from. I, I, don't quote me, but maybe yeah. Amazon, but uh, okay. no one else is doing sub second. Ones. Amazon does game I, streaming. I believe so. I believe oh, they so. own Twitch or who? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're Twitch, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, I was watching some fun uh, Pokemon Go people on the street stuff. So if you have your Android app working for streaming, that'd be cool. So then people yeah. can do that kind of uh, exactly so, yeah. live Pokemon. Follow me while I play Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to cater to a wide audience, and we think that there's value in in having the the stream be as close to real time as possible. So. And you can rebroadcast from there to something else, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so we're looking to, for interaction, uh, real time, and also integrate uh, VODs later down the line. Um, yeah, pretty much uh, the full experience, like anything that people are looking for from a streaming environment. And making money, they want to make money. Some of them, like you have to send them tips and stuff. Yeah, you have to. Uh, That's shout outs. It's definitely things that have. we're investigating down the line. Right now, we're still solidifying the tech. Uh, because, like you said, how, you know, the, the first question you ask is how is it possible? So, fortunately, the technology is moving along; that things can be done. So, and it's uh, live. Do you store it also? Or play back later? Uh, right now, for this demo, it does not. But that's a functionality that's being worked on at the moment. Yeah.